Welcome back everyone. Uh, this video will be a very quick uh, bug fixing video uh, because it's been brought to my attention uh, that the melee attack, both the axe swing and the combo uh, have an issue if you're using the wrong animation. And uh, let me show you. So this is only in multiplayer. Um, so right now when we do a uh, an axe swing or an axe combo, so what happens, I'm gonna do the slow motion, is when I do the axe swing, you see that on the server version, the uh, hit scan is appearing, but on the client it isn't. And that's that's correct, that's the intended behavior. We only wanna do hit scans on the client. Um, uh, sorry, we only wanna do hit scans on the server, but not on the client. Uh, but the, that's not the issue. The issue um, is if I don't have root motion enabled on my animations, so let me show you. If I go to my axe animation, let's go to the axe uh, single attack. So this one has root motion enabled. So if I disable root motion, uh, now look what happens here. So now the client will do the axe swing and no more hit scan on the server. So this is not correct. This won't be doing uh, any damage. Now the reason this is happening uh, is because I found out this quite recently. Uh, that anim notify windows don't work as expected in a networked environment. So I'm gonna keep this uh, root motion off for now to show you. So let's go to our um, uh, axe swing montage and see how we're doing the uh, hit scan. So hit scans are done through this window. This window has a start and has an end. When it starts, we start the hit scan. When it ends, the hit scan is over. Right, um, this doesn't work as we expect on multiplayer. Let me show you. So if I go to my Adam notify this hit scan window here, I'm just gonna add a print statement. So this is the notify end. I'm gonna add a print statement here. Say um, hit scan end. All right, and I'm gonna add another notif uh, print statement on the notify begin here. And I'm just going to call this one uh, hit scan start. So I want you to see what happens on both the server and the client. So the server version here should work as expected. So I'm going to do my uh, weapon swing and we see hit scan start and hit scan end. So this is happening at the right moments as expected. But right now, if I do this on the client, now look what happens. There are way too many uh, start and, uh, and end events. This shouldn't be happening that many times. It should be happening only once when we start and once when we end and that's it. Um, now, the reason this is happening is because montages work differently in a network environment. When I'm playing this montage right now, this um, is played through a gameplay ability. And that means that the server and the client both play this montage. Now the server is trying to continuously update the client by where, telling it where the montage is currently playing at so that if there's any mismatch, the client updates. This means that the client continuously receives updated information on the montage from the server. And when the client receives that, they perceive it as a completely new start of the animation and therefore trigger the start and end events again. So this, um, during the entire duration of the window, the start and end events keep happening multiple times, and that's not correct. Uh, and this, of course, only happens on the client because the client is the one receiving data from the server, uh, which is the authority. Now, this doesn't happen, surprisingly, when you enable root motion. Uh, so if I go back here and enable root motion, now, this doesn't happen, it only you see hit scan start and hit scan end at the right moments. Now, the reason root motion fixes it is because root motion causes the client to only listen to what the server is saying. There is no more uh, client side prediction of the animation, only the server authority data um, is even considered. So there is no issue where the client is trying to continuously predict and update uh, the montage from the server. But this is not the fix we want. This, uh, you may want animations without root motion and you still want this behavior to work, right? Um, luckily, there is a very simple fix. So again, I'm going to disable root motion so that we have the bug and show you the fix for it. 
Well, the fix is really simple. Um, instead of using a anim notify window like we're doing here, I'm just going to use two separate notifies, a start notify and an end notify. Without a window, there is no issue because there's only one notify sent at one frame. And even if the client gets updated information about the montage from the server, um, this won't trigger a new notify because it's going to be already past that point. Um, so we're just going to replace our current notify windows with two separate notify um, states. So I'm just going to right click here, create a new blueprint class uh, of type anim notify and select the regular one, not the notify state, just the regular notify. And we're gonna call this an underscore hit scan start. Okay, so this is just going to do the same thing that the hit scan window does on notify begin. Okay, so we're just gonna copy these two things here. So we get the owner and send the hit scan start event. So let's go to our hit scan start and let's override the get notify name. Let's just give it a name scan start and now let's override the receive notify and paste these things that we copied here and our mesh component goes here all right so it's the same thing we do uh, on the window start we just send this event great now i need another one so i'm going to duplicate this hit scan starts call this one hit scan end and the difference here is well it's going to have a different name first of all going to call kid scan end and the receive notify just sends the hit scan end event instead of the hit scan start great so the way we're going to use it is the same as we're doing here i'm just going to add a new track so that we see where we're adding new data uh, and i'm going to add two separate uh, notifies so add the hit scan start right here where this one starts and here i'm going to add the hit scan end right here all right so they now both share the same and come on all right so they now both share the same start and end now i don't need this one i'm going to delete it and i'm going to delete this whole track and i'm just going to rename this track to two all right so now we have hit scan start and hit scan end um, for this x swing animation now let's see if it fixes the issue just by doing that so on the client, now I still have root motion disabled, so the bug should be there. But now with this new setup, there we go. It's being triggered on the server. You see the hit scan being done on the server correctly. Amazing. Um, now we need to do this for the combo as well. So I'm just going to go to my, where is it? My combo here. And I'm going to replace all the hit scan start uh, hit scan windows with a start and an end right at their starting and ending points. Okay, so I'm going to do this off camera because it's just some tedious work. All right, I just added all of the hit scan start, hit scan end, start end, start end where the hit scan windows used to be. So now I can just delete these hit scan windows and delete that notify track. All right, so. Um, this should work for the combo as well, um, but there is an issue. It's the combo itself, this continue combo window that tells us whether we can continue the combo or not, is also a window and not a single notify. Uh, so that means that if we disable root motion on the combo attack here, so I'm going to disable root motion and we'll see that we have now fixed the issue uh, with the hit scan. So the hit scan is happening on the server. You don't see it because it's ending quickly. Let me do it in slow motion. And you'll see on the server, there are some hit scans, but it's, it's ending really quickly. I'm clicking the button, but I can't continue the combo. And that's the same issue. It uses a uh, notify window as well. So we need to also replace in our combo, this notify window with two separate ones for a continue start and continue end. So we're just gonna do the same exact thing we did for our uh, notify uh, for the hit scan. So we're gonna create a new anim notify blueprint, anim notify. We're gonna call this an underscore um, continue 
combo start, right? So the, the combo window here sends these events, event continue combo end and event continue combo start. So we're just gonna do the same thing, send them in two separate notifies. So the continue combo start, let's override the name, call it continue combo start, and let's override the receive notify and paste these things here, where we just send the con combo start event. All right, and then we are going to duplicate it, create another one, call it combo end. Open that up, change the name from combo start to end, change the event from start to end, and that is it. Now we go back to our combo here, and I'm going to replace these combo windows with a start here, an end here, start here, and end here. So same like we did before, add a track, add state, combo start, yep, starts here, add combo end, should be right around here. Great, add a combo start at this point. Yep, and a combo end, I'm gonna copy this, this is the combo end, yes. Right at this point. It's a bit annoying that they're overlapped. You can create different tracks for them if you don't like to see this overlap, but it's fine for now. Now I can delete this window, delete this whole track, maybe rename the tracks to be in order. This is two, this is three. Great, now let's test it out. Root motion disabled, so the bug was there. Now let's try to do our combo. Great, it works, and we have hit scans on the server. Amazing, and just to show you that root motion is disabled, I can move while the animation is happening. That means I don't have root motion. Of course, we don't want that, so we're gonna enable root motion back on both of the animations. So enable root motion here, enable root motion here. It should still work because it was working already with the root motion before, um, but just to show you, here it is. Root motion working and I can't move. That means root motion is correctly working. Amazing. So that was the issue. Uh, we can get rid of these um, notify windows. So we can the hit scan window, we can delete that, no longer used. And the combo window, uh, we can delete that, it's no longer used. All right, so the recommendation moving forward is not to use notify windows for uh, multiplayer uh, animations. So since most of the things we'll be doing with multiplayer, I'm not going to be using notify windows anymore. I'm just going to be using regular notify events. And that's it. And a big thanks to the people that left comments telling me about this issue and showing me their debugging process and telling me how they faced the issue that really helped me find uh, the proper solution for it. So thank you and I will see you in the next one.